Have a holly jolly Christmas. Wow, what a voice. <laughs> we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Bon Natal. Today's a special day. Yes. We have two lovely guests here with us today. We have Rosemary and we have Giuseppina, a.k.a. Pina. Yes. A.k.a. Pina's Kitchen, <laughs> who's been killing it on TikTok lately. Thank you. How are you guys you. doing? Good, good. So yeah. this is Giuseppina's first time on a podcast, correct? Very first time, yes. How do you feel about podcasts? Is it a little nerve-wracking no, for I you? No, I do listen to podcasts. Do you? Yeah, my daughter introduces me to... Do you li- listen to ours? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel offended. <laughs> but uh, because <laughs> we, we when we travel in the morning to go babysit my grandson... We go together. When you commute, you listen yeah, to a podcast. Commute, yeah. So we lo- we listen to um, a podcast. What are some podcasts you listen to? Uh, it's her all her podcasts. I don't oh, have any. Like, what's the name of it? Uh, we listen to Excuse My Grandma, which is like this podcast about this Jewish grandmother and granddaughter, and they talk about generational dating. Okay. And it's funny and it's lighthearted and she doesn't like the. And sometimes I can't picture you listening to that. Yeah, all I like it. Yeah. I like it. I like the grandmother. She's very cute and nice. Yeah, she, yeah. Likes, she likes lighthearted stuff. And then yeah. we listen to Jay Shetty. and Yeah, Jay Shetty I like. like yeah. Yes, I like him a lot. Well, so you have some experience of how a podcast works. Mm-hmm. This one, we're going to do something a little different, though. It is Christmas, and a big thing on our page is people like to argue about food. Yes. We have we brackets. Know and All the time. We, we know. <laughs> we did a bracket for best holiday food, and p- things went further than they should have. Things didn't go oh as fr- further as they should. Let me, let me ask Pina now. What's the best Italian holiday food that the you best? would say? Yeah, what's the best? Uh, I think Christmas is the best. Uh, uh, what food in Like particular? what food item? What food item? Okay. Uh, if you Christmas Eve, uh, the I think the best for me is the uh, the seafood salad. Okay. Yeah. Do you do seven fishes, Pina? Or? No, um, I try, but I was not brought up with seven fishes. In my town was not a town near the sea. So is seven fishes an Italian? Is it an Italian American thing? Maybe I think it's maybe probably some different parts of Italy, or maybe areas. I'm I'm not sure 100. percent Or maybe areas where the towns are by the sea and there's fishermen that mm-hmm. they have a lot of fish in the town. Mm-hmm. So then they have a lot more recipes. A lot of people say like. But my town, it's a hill town. So you when I was on. in Italy, <laughs> small girl, the fish came on a lambretta. You know lambretta? Wow, yeah. The, yeah. the, the thing with three yeah, wheels. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, what do they call those? La, uh, lape. Yeah. The, and that's they, the guest ones. They, they, and the, yeah. yeah, it's what we used no, to call a lambretta. Right? I don't know how. Uh, ape, ape, like an ape. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a yeah. three wheel. Yeah, Like yeah. one in the front and two in the back. And I got all everything in the back. And then they the men would shout. Gambari, calamari, the corners, and they would have the fish, <laughs> and then you know the people would just gather around there, and they would buy whatever so, fish. So, did you wait for the special price? Or I was a little girl. I didn't. Oh, okay, I, okay. My mother would run and buy. Wait until the fish smelt a little. It'll be cheaper. <laughs> so Christmas Eve for us, it was actually a lot of vegetables, and believe it or not, it was sausage. Oh wow! Yeah, it was sausage. That was the main star. And, you know, yeah, the main thing was sausage. Bacala. Well, like in, in, in uh, sausage in the forno, uh, or forno, or uh, maybe bro- if they make a fire outside, they will broil it. Or but is it? Aren't you not supposed to eat meat on Christmas Eve? No, it's. I don't think. I think in my town was never like that. We've been lied to our whole life. <laughs> in right? my town was never so, like no, that. No, she I, is right though, because yeah. the species of seven fishes originated in southern Italy. Now, not all towns Not all towns did that. it, no. And, of course, you guys, you know, being a town that predominantly is on land and in yes, mountains. Yes, in the right. hills. They're not going to prioritize fish. Uh, right. well, yes, we didn't have a lot of fish right. that, we, that we experienced. And for sardines, that was one of the main uh, fish that we ate. Mm-hmm. Um, we ate eels. We had also... Uh, I don't know if you're familiar. It was called Raya the fish. That we Raya. basically was like a. Um, it looked like um, a lot of bones that looked like a wing, but it was really delicious. I haven't seen it in America. Like a flounder? No, it had uh, soft bones. Okay, inside. so you can eat the bones too. No, oh, you don't no, eat the bones, okay. but um, <laughs> the fish you you usually fried. So this oh, okay, was okay. very um, popular. In popular area? in my town. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, basically we had like a, like a, like you would say a mackerel or a bluefish kind of thing. Uh-huh. We had that. Uh, no, no shrimps. I only 
I never really knew about shrimps in my town except when I came to America. Wow, okay. Now, so calamari, yes. <laughs> calamari, yes, but no shrimps. So, no, uh, no lobster. Shrimps are more expensive. No crabs, nothing like that. You know what's funny? I heard, I don't know if it's like a true source. I heard it in conversation, but that the church made a deal with fishermen to say that you have to eat fish on Fridays and stuff like that. Mm, probably. Oh, maybe. Right? I it was like a handshake deal. We got you. We got we, you. We, we ate a lot of mussels. Give us a couple extra donations, though. Don't worry about it. <laughs> mussels are big in Sicily. Palermo especially. I feel like mussels. a lot of Sicilians, they eat all... Yeah. Even mussels. those um, urchins, what are they yeah, called? Yeah, the oh. urchins, yes. Those are big. Yes. Like I say, um, when I was a young girl in my town, I did not have that experience because we didn't have a lot of fish in the town. Now... It's different. And mm. now you can go to another town and you go eat in a restaurant where they serve you all kinds of fish. Now you have a different experience. Because the last time I was in Italy, my husband's cousin took us to this beautiful restaurant by the sea, by the water. And we had uh, mm. the pasta with the urchins. And even our black Ricci, squid, black Ricci. squid pasta. Yeah, the rich is called. Yeah, yeah, rich, yeah. rich. Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah, but and it's like, like a, orange on the inside. Yeah, right? it's orange. Yeah. Yes, it's beautiful. That's yes. not for me. No, but it's good. Yeah, not for it's me. It good. scares oh me. Yeah. Fish <laughs> scares me. When I see fish with head, I get uh, crazy. And but listen, everybody knows the star of Christmas is always dessert time. Yes. yes. And today we got about six different fig cookies and all different kinds of things. From our good friends at Shirko's, and you actually prepared us fit cookies too. Let's uh, let's try some stuff on camera. We're going right into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right into so it. We had I'm a little excited. warm up. We spoke about a couple of things. Now we're going right into it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think I ripped it. Oh, you ripped it. I okay. ripped it. I was like, this guy, this guy went after it already. Yeah, this is mine. I think we gotta start <laughs> with peanuts, peanuts, peanuts fig cookies. Okay, this is was my mother's recipe. Oh, yeah? Yes. All right. All right, tell us what you think. All right. No pressure, right? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> no pressure. First of all, these look like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Right? Yes. Is that the whole point? My nonna yes. was really good at designs, and she really prided herself I try. I tried her. to copy my mother's designs. Yeah, she loved to do all <laughs> And everyone is unique. Yeah. Yes. Also, all different let shapes. me say this. After, you know, looking at your TikTok videos and editing some to post on our Instagram... <laughs> I came across the cuchiradi, right? Yeah. That's, is that how you say it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cuchiradi cookies, which is the fig cookies. And let me tell you, that process, Maron Mia, that must take hours, maybe mm -hmm. even days to prepare mm. a fig cookie. So I want to see if it's like worth all that work. But what, do, right. you guys, what do you guys think? I think it's well, worth it. In my that. family, it's worth it because everybody Amazing. wants it. Everybody expects it. Mm -hmm. They'll ask for it. They put their orders in, actually. My cousins, too. To you? My husband. Are, they, are you charge them or they're free? No, we should start free. charging. So I, I want to order two then, if that's my, okay. My daughter-in-law family, they love it, and every Christmas I make them a, a plates. Like how many? One year you made how many pounds? Fifteen. Fifteen pounds. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. By the way, these are amazing. So amazing. I, I got a couple of questions. They are they are amazing. What I want to know is when did you make them? Because they feel like yes super that. fresh. Yes, mm -hmm. Now, how good are these cookies for? Because you can freeze them. Oh, you can? And yes. then what, you... Pop and then, up? like, 20 minutes before you serve them, you or, like, half an hour, you put them out, you put them, like, on a tray, and you wait until they defrost. Very easy. Oh, different, room, very room temperature. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. don't, you don't heat it back up? No. So for Christmas, do you um, make these ahead of time? Or? Yeah, I'll start making them now. And I'll put them, like, um, in this uh, plastic container, these big plastic containers where, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with the lid. I have to ask you an honest so question. I keep them in the How many freezers do you have in your house? Don't uh, lie. I have two in the house and one in the garage. garage yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have three. It's not enough. <laughs> so if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I'm coming. By so, <laughs> what does Rose say, Ma? Which one? Like right. you say, Oh, Ro, I mean, me take you. Get out in Which one? Like, which one? <laughs> one, two, or three? You have it labeled. <laughs> so I will say, amazing. Very good. Fake cookies are super important during Christmas time. Yes. Um. What did you think, Ra? You like that? No, oh, I love it. I love it. It's very soft, fresh, and I'm I'm a big fig person. So you, did you guys do a video of this? We're gonna we're gonna post. Okay. Well, we yesterday was like a rush rush. So yeah. We so didn't so it, but rush rush. So next, so everybody. Because it takes two. It's a two day process for me. Okay. Oh the really? Filling, yes, the filling we have to do the day before because it takes some, you know, and then we put yeah. it in the refrigerator. 
to it, it just re- rest a little bit yeah. in, right. in the refrigerator, and then the next day, I'll do the. See, I was right. The a co- dough. Uh, like a couple days. Yeah, or yeah. yeah, and then you know, by the time you finish, then you have to do the the sugar on top. And it has to dry. Yeah. So basically, my kitchen is like a mess. Yeah. For two days. Can I ask you, do you take a lot of joy in yes. baking, both of you, like yeah, in baking and yeah. cooking? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Because Especially to do Christmas. that's a lot, yeah. you know? like Christmas. An Italian saying is, like, yeah. who, ma- who makes you do it? You know, yeah. like, why do you guys? Actually, my when my husband was still working, I used to make them extra even for him to take to work. She's so. a superstar. Because <laughs> they would ask my husband. When is your wife making the kuchin? <laughs> when, when they're free, everybody wants them. Yeah, right. It tastes better when they're free. Add us to the family tree. Yes. You know, <laughs> we'll take them too. No. Um, the next thing I have is from our friends Chircos. It's bucalata. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I spelled that right. Bucalata. Okay. Bucalata. Now it looks very similar to yours. It you uses different sprinkles. Yes. But it looks like it has chocolate. I like the top. chocolate over here. Yeah, I love chocolate. Does everybody have that? Oh, we all do. Okay. Mm-hmm. We all picked our desserts right mm. before this, by the way. Very good. Oh, wow. This is Very great, good. too. Oh, my yeah. God. These might so be my good. new Christmas cookies, honestly. Yeah. Wow, I've never had this before. It's so good. It's so good. Now, what's the difference between these and yours? I was trying to figure that out. Uh, the filling is a little different. It is, It is right? The consistency is This is a different filling. The consistency is Probably they use a different kinds of... Um, it looks like they have like some nuts here, too, like... There's just a little or, smoother. Or, it's, or the fig's a little thicker. Smoother. Yours has the fig seeds. Notice that, right? Mine yeah. is fresh seeds. Red a fresh, seeds. A fresh, um, use the dry figs. Yeah, I use the dry figs. Oh, that's, so that's why. That's that why. might yeah. be the difference there. Yeah. I use the Your dry fig figs. Is so different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I use also a, a couple of jars of my homemade fig jam. To get oh. <laughs> she don't play around. And then yeah. I put, also put almonds and walnuts in here. And orange marmalade. And orange yeah. marmalade. <laughs> because my mother... That was my mother recipe. And chocolate. And chocolate. So it's very like a lot. It's got a lot. Yeah, yeah. But very this is very similar. Very, yes, very similar. But this is very similar, good. yes. Yeah. yeah, similar. This is very good Both too. Good. Both good. No, very does, soft too. Shirko does a amazing cookies. cookies. They're also your paisans. They're from Sicily. Yeah. So you know something. Usually when you know I our best friends now. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> but usually when I had these cookies, they were very dry. Yeah. Th- these, this is like the first time I had yeah. soft fig cookies. Mm. Yeah. So right. I don't know it depends on. It's again. about the dough recipe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This dough is very um, crumbly, very soft yeah. dough. Is the panna de angeli? Is that no. what? No. It? No, it's not. <laughs> 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 panna de angeli is the li- it's la- For the cake, right? The, no, panna de angeli is the little van- uh, van- vanilla. Um, yeah, there's uh, the vanilla yeast, yeast. Yeah, from yeah, Maple. Yeah. I know my mom uses but that I like it's sugar. It, yeah, it's like, I put it in. I put it's it so in good. the dough. Yeah, I put it in the. Dough. Yeah, it's like so, uh, Anjali, Angel's class, right? Yeah. I think. I think as we go along, I'm ask Pina if she thinks the desserts are authentic Italian or Italian American. This, this is authentic. What, what right? Well, these are authentic Italian. Yeah. This, this what Chirko made. I'm sure because. Even if we in my town didn't do, we didn't call them like mm-hmm. this, but they're similar to the kuchita. This one. Okay. Yeah. The next one is the rainbow cookies, which... Uh, has that. Now, this one I know a lot of people say is American. In yeah. Italy, these don't exist, right? I, I really, I did not see them in the bakery or... Did you look bars. in every bakery, though? No, I did not look at every bakery. He says, Gamu biscotto d'Alian. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Do you no, like is, rainbow cookies? I can show you this is I, definitely I love, Italian. I love yeah, rainbow like cookies. I love rainbow cookies. I will but, say Chirco's is probably my favorite rainbow but what's cookie. The Italian name for rainbow cookie. Meanwhile, in America, we fight over the name. Biscotto colorado. Who says flat right, cookie? Right, who says yeah, seven tri-co- layer? Yeah. Who yeah. says tricolor? No, no, but I mean, it has to. Have, see, this is like a cucciadato, right? Yeah. But is there um, a? Italian name for a... Uh, Pignoli. This no, 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 this one, this one, no, 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 no. No, I don't know. The rainbow cookie. I have no idea. I'm asking you guys. But I will you try it and I will I'm tell you. It's very good. <laughs> I don't know. You're the... You're the, you're the one from Italy. You're the one that was born in Italy. Yes. Yeah. People I, say we're not Italian. I was born in Italy. I'm saying here. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I do not remember this. So it might be Italian-American. But do you Could still be. indulge? But it's still delicious. Still good. Yeah. Yeah. I always... I buy them. You claim it? Yes, I claim it. Yeah, why not? I, I like it. <laughs> if we're, we're Italian American, we make something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Italian. So, being um, Italian American, do you guys think rainbow cookies are a Christmas cookie? Mm-hmm. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think it's a Christmas cookie. Mm-hmm. You got to yeah. put it up there. Because yeah. you got the green and red, you know? Yeah. yeah a little <laughs> the yeah. Holiday spirit. Tastes good. Italian Americans made it. It's very good. It's, it's very one of my good. favorites, I think. Yeah. It's soft. And these Jelly. cookies, believe it or not, they stay good for a while. Like, yeah. if you put them in the refrigerator, mm-hmm. you know, maybe they're good all during Christmas week. The yeah. 26th to 27th. <laughs> right. Don't worry about it. One week later. All right. Next one. <laughs> next one. Next one's the pignoli cookies. I don't yeah. have uh, I, didn't, I didn't get this one. This cookie I'm alone might be about seven ninety nine. Just yeah, for this one. Those things are filled with, with yeah. uh, pignoli. Look how many together. nuts are in here. Ding. There's one bite. It's about $4. How you feel? Oh. Everything is Amazing. good in Chico. Amazing. Everything, everything is, is good. good. Everything everything is we good. all know how everything tastes. Everything so is good in Chico, so. <laughs> Any excuse to eat, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Piece de bourne. Now, no, these are so good because they're soft. Uh-huh. And, so what I got is the same version, but um, there's instead of pignoli, there's a cherry. Oh, and I feel like the dough is like a little different. That's a, yeah, that's a butter cookie, though. Or no. Oh. That's the same, no, it's the same thing. Same, the same thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's soft. Butter right? cookies are sprinkle ones. Yes. Yeah. I feel like they have those in Italy. I feel like yeah, I've seen don't. those. I yeah. will say, though. Yeah, what's, these are in Italy. I've I seen, yeah. like I've seen them. What's the big deal with pignoli nuts? Like, what's the big deal about them? Yeah, I'm not a fan pine, of pignoli. Pine nuts? Pignoli? That's what that's. Pine? Well, pignoli in English. Well, they, why are they so expensive, I guess, is what you're trying to say. I have no idea why it's so expensive. Because it's a, it's a, it's a nut that you can really use... And a lot of stuff, but even I, in cooking. Yeah, but like, I could have it without the. I could have this cookie without yeah, the, the pine nuts. Is good if you pick them up. Like, you see what? Yeah, but I'm just eating it. To, <laughs> I'm just eating it to eat it. You know, I'm not eating it because I'm pre- enjoying. It's preference. I mean, though. I like it. Don't get me wrong. No, but. it's preference. If you don't, you're not really crazy yeah, about. That, they're not yeah. my favorite. The that particular cookies. nut. Bro, don't try not to eat too much, right? Yeah. You can take one I'm, bite. And then I'm about to talk about this cookie. Oh, okay. Worry. She's waiting for it. <laughs> uh, which one is that one? This Amaretti? is the Fiore de Mandole or something? Yeah. Let me check. Um, that one's These good. cookies from Chirco, I will rave about them. Wow. Ever. That's the best? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. It's the best It's the best cookie, cookie Yeah, yeah, she's had. right. She's right. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's really? like one of the best cookies yes. I've ever had. Take a bite for the for the camera over there. Yes. It's soft. Yeah. Oh it's my soft. God. When we went to Chirco. And those are the ones you guys made together. Yeah, he said that. They are so good. So are you gonna open up your own uh, bakery? No. Pina's Pina's biscotti. No. <laughs> I could pitch. I would buy some. No. I have no intention. He's already working too much. You gotta figure, <laughs> double the work at least. Oh um. Also, we have the sliced almond cookies. Somebody has them. Lupe, do you see like a oh, al- yeah. cookies with almonds on it? Yeah, throw one over, cause. Shout out to our guys, Lil Pig over here. <laughs> He's been munching on biscotti the whole time. <laughs> yeah, oh I try. God. Why not? Wait, so wait, wait, these, what? we promised that this that. year we would eat more stuff on camera because why not? We work hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's only right. <laughs> so this is the same dough too, but. This is similar to the pignoli. Yeah, the same dough. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. I see. Well, it's if you nice. don't like the, mm. the pignoli, then you can have the almonds. I like, yeah, there's a lot of alternatives. This, to so that's, it's like a, a lot of people don't like pignoli nuts, but they like almonds. So if you want to save $3, you get the almonds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Rock, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, hey, they didn't have pignoli, guys. Sorry about that. Here's but an almond. <laughs> they got the almond ones, though, coincidentally. Stop them Does anybody have any different um, fake yeah. cookies besides the ones? I want to talk about this one. The butter cookie with the... The sprinkle cookies? The Those are Italian, yes. I feel like... What is it called? Then? A sandwich cookie? What do you call these? Because I don't even know what they're called, but these are like the, the best part of an assorted yeah. cookie tray. Yes. Did you, call them? Did you guys ever hear the TikTok sounds? No, like, I don't know. Nobody ate your cookies. <laughs> they, and, and, but in Sicily, they will make them also oh. with the pistachio nuts, pistachio oh cream. Oh, that sounds Remember ridiculous. when uh, Tia Margarita used to yes. send this to for us like... um. One time, you know, that, she you brought know, a whole box of cookies with all pistachio cream inside. And all different. Oh, oh my god, that was so good. Pistachio cream in Sicily. It was it those type of cookies, but filled with pistachio. It was unbelievable. They you know how to make sprinkles? Them? No, I never uh, really made these. No, I don't know how to make. We gotta try. Them. Yeah, right. We gotta. <laughs> yeah, so we, we have, have to try adventure. to make them. But is this an Italian cookie? Yes, they have authentic. Them. I mean, different fillings. Like I said, they have pistachio nuts. Yeah, no, they are. You know, like um. Instead of sprinkles and chocolate, they would be like a, um, a sugar. Sugar-coated? Yeah, sugar-coated. 
We got a sugar Mia's. attack right now. Mama yeah. Mia. Yeah. Let me put these away. Do we have any more like over here? The powder sugar. I, I think we gotta one. go over. Oh yeah, that's um. Oh, okay. That was the last one, and then we have some different fig cookies. So that one is. Dive in. I want to make sure I got everything right, guys. I never look at outlines, but those are the macaroon crunch. Mm. Oh. Okay. Wow. Wow. Um, You're the I, only one that has that? Sounds sounds French. Sounds, yeah. Listen, yeah. this Christmas, then oh, I'm going to go to Chirco to buy some cookies. Right. So so that way yeah. you could take it easy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep going? Or, uh, no, sorry. Let's. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> go ahead. Take, can take a break. You guys could. I'll finish it later. I'll finish later. Um, I'm going to be in She's like struggling to hold those. <laughs> there was like one more, too. Yeah. Yeah, the other fit cookies, I think. <sighs> Which ones? So, oh, yes. There's just this one other one. I saw oh, the bad. <laughs> so this one was a little different than the one you guys made. It didn't have like sprinkles right. or icing. More plain, yeah. yeah. You guys want to try one too? That's fine. I just feel like I have to know. I just feel like I have to know. We'll watch you. I just feel like I have to know. Speak for all of us. Yeah, there you go. We did try the other day. We when actually they send us home. They, they send us yeah. home with that. I feel like these are good if you're going to eat multiple cookies like we just yeah. did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good no, palate. A little, yeah. no. now, are you going for that first? Or is that, Honestly, or is that if nothing's left, you'll go for this one? Honestly, if I had all these, I probably wouldn't go for that's, this first. I feel like no. it's a cup of coffee, like with espresso. Yeah, I, yeah I think it's that would be more. nice with a cup of coffee. That's a little this is more. very... Uh, would your family be pissed off if that was the only cookie you had Christmas Day? Like disappointed? No, no, I don't think so. But I uh, <laughs> usually make, uh, which I didn't make, I didn't have time. But my mother used to also make uh, a colpa stichotto, she used to call it. Uh, which is uh, basically the same dough of the cuchillata, but the filling very different. What was inside? The filling was made with uh, the um, la cucuzza. You know the cucuzza oh, yeah, siciliana, yeah, the long, long green yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Like she will make well, a I always wondered how Sicilians ate all that cucuzza. You guys will, don't eat that? Oh, I'll save it for later. <laughs> we will make, uh, she nah. will make the marmalade mm-hmm. at the cucuzza, but at the end of the season, which will be the hard part, you know, the hard one, not the soft one, not the tender cucuzza. The, and then she will save it. And then for Christmas, she will make that filling. Um, and we'll be making that kind of, the same dough, but in a different shape. And she will fill, it will look like round, like this filled with that. Yeah. But, you know, she will put, Sweet. we I, 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 I make some, it too. I have some other questions for Pina, if I may. Mm-hmm. So you have Rosemary and your son, Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. There's them too. Now, during Christmas time, do they request anything in specific? Oh, like, Ma, I want this. Uh, they, 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 my son requests uh, the tiramisu. She makes Whenever, like, Ma, every, it's, every it's my holiday. birthday. Every holiday. Every holiday. <laughs> so, like, did you You don't watch Sopranos, right? You never watched Sopranos? No. My so, husband did. But no. Okay, so, like, um, Tony's uh, f- mom used to always bring uh, the baked ziti, like, to the parties. Oh, that I mean. <laughs> and then the son would be like... The mom wasn't coming. The nonna wasn't coming. She's like, what? So no big ziti? So yeah. What well, that is thing. also a request. A big ziti? Yeah. Yes. Is big ziti a real Italian thing? Yeah, pasta forno. Yeah, yeah pasta forno is not big ziti though. No, but it, my mother used to make with ziti. Well, what the is meat, the difference? The different pasta. It's a different pasta. What's what's pasta forno? Is the long one, right? No, it's yeah. the little circles. No, no, that's palermitana. That's la pasta forno, la palermitana yeah. is the the rings. Yeah, that's but not what we are, In my town, we didn't do that. No? That was a palermitana. That's basically for, from Palermo. I don't even that's know what it. to believe you anymore. Touch, touch a so nerve, subject. yeah. <laughs> but but people, we don't talk about them but, over here. But people know. People make it. It's a palermitana. But my mother always used to make it with the ziti. So the same, everything the same? Everything the either. same. Like, you know, the meat, the sauce, you know, mozzarella, whatever. You gotta try it like that. But no. Because, and my son, Anthony, does not like the... The spaghettios? The little, the little, the spaghetti. Spaghettios, the little rings. Rings. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but I always like look at them like because I never seen any other pasta with spag- like no. the O's like that. No, that's oh, right. When do you ever eat? Oh, that? you, you can use. About? Yeah. Oh, oh you can no. make it. Really Listen, you can. Me down. You gotta go. You can use your imagination. You don't have to stick to one type of pasta. I sometimes I make it with rigatoni. Yeah, that's all. All pastas and are good. Sounds, it sounds. But it's good. I will it's good. say a good baked ziti or baked rigatoni, whatever you make. Yeah. It Isn't has it? to be crunchy on the outside. Yeah. At the, at the, it at has the edges, to be crunchy. That's how you know it's a good one. And that, at the edges. Absolutely. That is yes. all a matter of cooking time. That's yes. it. Yes. Yes. So yeah. You could put as much sauce and cheese as you want. No, but then when, nice and crunchy. when you put it in the oven, it depends how long you cook it. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. You know. yes. A little brujade. So that's our family pasta. 
Do you guys, uh, how do you make your lasagna? I, I make the lasagna with uh, the one that they sell, the the, 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 the dry the one, sheet. the little pasta sheet. Yeah? Uh, you know. Now, what, what are because your ingredients, it's easy, though? Because it's easy. Do you use, do you use uh, bechamel? Or? No, I don't like no? bechamel. No, do you I use, use eggs? Ricotta. No eggs. I put eggs in my ricotta. I season my ricotta. Well, how do you put the raw eggs in ricotta? Raw eggs, right? Raw eggs. I yeah. Like, I season my ricotta. I don't put just ricotta. I just put, in my ricotta, I put the eggs. I put fresh parsley. I put uh, pecorino romano. I put um, mozzarella. That's what we call seasoning. And it's like pepper. All right? Pepper. Let me ask you this one. Am and I then her? I put it, you know, in the pasta. No sugar in the ricotta? No. Never? No. Not for the pasta. No, not in lasagna. Oh, no, I was just curious. Not for the pasta. I mean, mm-hmm. if you make a sweet thing with ricotta, then you put sugar. Yeah. So you put the the... The lasagna first, then the sauce. Well, oh, what's your what's your what sauce do, in the bottom? Okay, what I do is I, I like make, how we just talk I about make, food, I no problem. <laughs> bye, I, bye. No, <laughs> give me the outline. <laughs> this is my personal way of doing it. Uh-huh. I make a pot of plain sauce, like a marinara sauce, plain, uh-huh. yep. and then I make the meat sauce with the with the chopped meat and everything. Okay. How you call this? Pasta con capoliato. Like, uh, you know. That's a tongue twister wow. if I've ever heard of well, one. Why not bolognese? Or? Well, bolognese is from Bologna. Yeah, she, <laughs> exactly. She's right, though. Yeah. She's right. This though. Way, we don't call it. I mean, now maybe they call it bolognese they because it. now everybody That's so is. True. I didn't even realize. Everybody wow. yeah. follows everything. She's right. That's yeah. But years ago, there was no. I didn't know any bolognese sauce. I know pasta con capoliato. <laughs> I think the only way I'll ever be able to pronounce that word is if I see how it's spelled. Yeah. Okay. Capoliato. 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 <laughs> so wait, yeah, go ahead. So Lasagna. anyway, so I make that, and then I, I put the plain sauce at the bottom because I want the dry pasta mm-hmm. to ha- to sit in it, it's the wet. Because yeah. otherwise it's going to really it's gonna be burn. dry. It's going to burn, too. Yeah, so I make a, put a lot of sauce at the bottom, put the pasta there, and then I start layering with the meat yeah. and the, and the um, ricotta. And then, you know, like the other sheet on top, and then and I then start laying, and layer the top, I put a little bit more uh, plain sauce around, so it goes inside the, the round, you know, like around the edges, yeah. so it gets, everything gets wet. Everybody gets happy pasta, that, you know? No, but when the pasta cooks in the oven, absorbs all that sauce. Right. If you don't put enough, then the pasta comes to, like, burns it too dry. Yeah. yeah. So that's the way I do, and then you know, like you layer with the with the meat sauce on top, the cheese, whatever, and you bake it. You know, it's funny. Everybody makes lasagna so different. Like our, but family. if you make fresh lasagna, this is a different story. What do you mean fresh? The noodles. Like if you make pa- I, I oh, like fresh sheets of pasta. Fresh sheets of pasta. Wow. Then it's what would different. you do for fresh pasta? Well, then you you will lay. Also, you will have to put sauce at the bottom, but it's, and then you know the 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 fresh pasta, and then you would layer. The meat sauce on top, the same thing. But it's fresh. Gotcha. So it will, you know. I don't think our family's ever made the lasagna sheet of pasta. No, they always always bought it. Especially when you had a holiday, you really, it's too much work. (coughs) Well, not only that, but the the fresh pasta, like, I feel like it sometimes will crumble. Yeah. Yeah. Like it has to. Too soft. Yeah, Yeah. it's like too much going on. It's a very thin layer, right? Then you gotta. It's a lot of work. I see restaurants do it. We use hard boiled eggs. And mozzarella, no ricotta, and our lasagna. Oh, really? Yeah. So well, we used to, years ago, when I was little in Italy, they used to do that con la pasta forno with the yeah yeah. With, now with the with, now with the lasagna, they used mm-hmm. to do it with the uh, just the regular, like I told you, with the ziti and everything. They used to put the egg too. Mm-hmm. Make it more filling. Yeah, but mm-hmm. here in America, we had more meat to put in. Yeah, exactly. So we just eliminated the eggs. Like, oh, we have meat now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what, what we yeah, said on the podcast. Yeah, years ago, it was economical to put eggs everywhere. Yeah, because we all had galena, you know? Yeah, but everybody be- had chickens in the house. <laughs> in the I house. always wonder what yeah, eggs. Yeah, in the house. No. Yeah. Yeah. She well, means the house outside. Well, on the side. No, I don't know. No, <laughs> no, no. That's just chickens walking around. Hey, dummy. Well, the chicken, your, your, your pet. Well, yeah, rooster. Well, <laughs> what they used to have, I don't know if you're familiar with, I'm familiar with my town, Sicily. Mm-hmm. In the old days, the, home, the homes used to, if, if you had like, you had like a, a land that you worked in the land, okay. right? Yeah. No, they didn't have no back house. They, my parents had one house. <laughs> 
That was so it. So where were the chickens and all this? On the on the ground floor, they had the stall with the animals. That's like supposed the, to be with the, the living horse, room. That was the horse, um, the chickens. They had, if they had a pig, if they had a goat, whatever. And then you would go upstairs and they had... Yeah, but it was like closed off. It was closed. The door was closed. Yeah. It, it, it was not connected to the living space, but it was... On the first. Well, floor. that's real Italian. That's what my yeah, parents that's real had. Italian, now that thing is Italian. No one has that anymore in my town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah nobody that, has that. Nobody anymore. has that. But this was years ago. You know what's funny? Growing up, going to Italy, like they used to always make fun of us. Like, oh, look at you guys walking dogs, and you gotta pick up the dog's poop, and like they would like go crazy that dogs live with in the house. Yeah. Right, now they kind of caught up to it. Yes. Like I see them. Like, yes. I'm like what's going on? Yes. But growing up. It was like they thought it was the craziest thing that we would like have the dogs. Yes, yeah, like, the yeah. dogs are stray in the town. And they yeah, that's, the, back yeah. And forth. that's a well, sad yeah. reality of Italy still today. I yeah, think. my father had a but dog. I always remember him, my father having a dog around, but it never. It was never in the space where we lived. Mm -hmm. Exactly, same thing. Yeah, yeah. You, a lot of us use the, the dogs for the shepherd, like to, guard for dog. sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah sheep, On sheep, farm, guard dog. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, Pia, you've been doing this social media stuff a long time. Is it sauce or gravy? We're all curious. Sauce. What would you say to someone that thinks it's gravy? Uh, that's you making a turkey with gravy, or you making <laughs> like uh, you know whatever. <laughs> with, but no, it's sauce. It's always sauce. Sugar goes in sauce or no? Depends. Depends what um, how your family uses it. If your family use a little bit of sugar, sometimes the acidity of the tomato is too high. Yeah, that's and why they put the sugar in. That's why that all happened, right? Yeah, of that. that's yeah. how it happened. That's why the sugar got in the sauce because people thought the, the tomato was too, had too much acidity, and they would put the sugar. I yeah. always thought someone thought it was sold by accident, you know? No, that was uh, intentionally. I see a lot of people put lemon juice or yeah, yeah, squeeze lemons in there just to another way of right. in the sauce. The acid. I mean, I've my never done it, but... Yeah, no, my mother sometimes, when the tomatoes were too acidity, they, she would put a little pinch of um, baking soda. Baking soda. Bicarbonato. Yeah. It's the yeah. Italian word. Mm -hmm. And that will uh, <coughs> take the acidity out. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, it depends. Sometimes I've used a little sugar in the sauce. Like I said, and you know, when you make fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. and it, it's... So much acidity, you might put a little bit. So you taste it before you put the yes, sugar? Yes, you taste it and you know, you cook, you see how it tastes. You know, it's about taste mm -hmm. and, you know, putting stuff in. It's it, That's why I cook. I don't cook because I follow a recipe completely. You go by... I say, I taste <coughs> and I say, oh, maybe it needs a little bit of salt. I taste, oh, okay, maybe I put a little bit of, of this. So, and you taste and you come up As with, you go? As you go because that's, uh, that's how you like to uh, eat. Yeah. Right. You know, that's, it, um, to me, cooking is what you like to eat. So how did you exactly start doing all this social media, like, content? She probably can tell you better than me. Yeah, so I was on TikTok in the pandemic, like everyone else. I was mm -hmm. doing my little dances and... Yeah, cause I was, you know, at first I saw your mom, like... You know, so I got her in. I was like, Mom, dance with me. Every time I put my mom on TikTok, people were like, Oh my God, I love your mom. I love your relationship. So it always worked. And then one day... My mom was making caponata. Mm -hmm. So that was the first like cooking video, the caponata? Yeah, she was making caponata. It's a Sicilian eggplant dish. And I just filmed it like really like on the fly. And then I posted it and it like blew up. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I I'm like, mom, let's do it again. So I did it again. This time I was like, hey, mom, what are you making today? And then I said, welcome to Bina's Kitchen. And it blew up to 500,000 views. And I was like, wow. oh, my God, mom. We got to keep going. And then I did the, another one, which is Popete de Ricotta, which is was very controversial because she put sugar in the, in the ricotta. ricotta and it's meatballs of ricotta? It's yes. yes. And you put it in the sauce and you cook it in the sauce. It's a very old Sicilian old, recipe. Old Sicilian recipe. Nobody really cooks it anymore. There's no Sicily. meat There's no meat in it? No, no just meat. ricotta. Just ricotta. That's you good for vegetarians. Yes. I, I could yeah. picture. Yeah. I asked something the vegetarian <laughs> would ask for in a but restaurant. But everyone was... It blew up to like one million views, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" We also got a lot of hate because of the the sugar. Of course, the well, that's what makes it go viral. And that's yeah. what makes yeah. it go viral. You need, you need a little bit of the hate. Yeah, yeah you need you a little bit. Do you read the comments? Like, no, um, no. You still I read them. But, uh, <laughs> she reads them. I read them to her. In the beginning, I used to get really offended because I'm like, "That's my mom. Like, how could you yeah. like, how could you like say yeah, anything bad about her?" 
Now I just laugh because yeah. no, people, okay, everyone's a food critic. Because well, now you're established too. Yeah, like, yeah. You, know what, you get what used to doing. it. But you know what videos always do well for your page? The anything artichoke. Oh yes. My God, yes. They love like the everybody artichoke. loves the artichoke videos. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I saw the, you. You should be the artichoke queen. Right? I, <laughs> I saw those. <laughs> anything artichoke goes viral. I feel. So many people didn't know what an artichoke was. Yeah, and I was people, shocked. I was yeah, like, "What crazy. do you mean?" And I always wonder where they didn't know that you could put artichoke in the sauce. Yeah, which that was also a very old recipe. These recipe come about when. In the old days, people didn't have the money to buy meat. And they also had their own vegetables. You know, so they, Sunday came, they had to make Sunday dinner, and people just had vegetables, and they would <coughs> use their imagination to come up with stuff. And that was one of the recipes. Artichoke stuffed in the sauce, mm -hmm. which was very big in, when I was little. Mm -hmm. My mother used to make it all the time. You get artichoke. You get artichoke. Yeah. <laughs> what I wanted to ask, how old were you when you came to America? I was 13. And how many brothers and sisters did you have? I just have one brother. How was it moving from Sicily to America? <laughs> it's funny. I was, I was like a young teenager, and coming to America was a big thing. My, my grandparents already lived here. My uncle, my mother's oh, sister. Oh, your your grand your nonny already lived here. Well, my grandmother was an American citizen. Oh, really? She was yeah. born here. She was born wow. in Alabama. Alabama. Wow. Yeah, story. Come on, Ivanka. It's a story. <laughs> it's a story. <laughs> and then she, her parents, uh, went back to Sicily when she was little. So she grew up in Sicily. She got married in Sicily, and then she ended up in America again when she was older. That's funny. Ah, yeah. oh, you rarely hear that. Yeah. 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 We oh really hear Italians Italian. in Alabama too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was actually Alabama. a big community. Yeah, Mali Bong. It was yeah. a big community, big Italian community in those days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Italians right. were everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's really so true. Do you her enjoy? Her parents, her parents got married in America in Alabama. Wow. Yeah, they got married here. They got married over here in America. Our parents sometimes tell us because my mom came here when she was seven, and I know his father is a little older, and it was uh, seven of them. The eldest stood back in Italy. She got married like 16 super young but they uh my mom and our her brothers and sisters always say that they were picked on a lot like oh. not speaking the language and stuff like that yeah yeah did you experience anything like that like no not really no i had a a big family here when i got here so we were very so they felt close. the pressure i didn't felt no pressure to learn the language my cousins understood the one that lived here they were born here uh, they understood the Sicilian. We used to speak in the house Italian, Sicilian. We never really had any situation like that, no. An easier transition. That's, that's yeah, it was good, easier. Though. Yes, that's good because that's very scary. Yes, leaving, leaving everything you know and starting fresh. It was scary <laughs> going to school. Yeah, I yeah that's where my mom. The my language, mom. but I didn't have any body pick on me now. Yeah, see, because that's what my mom said. Uh, it would be in school. Yeah. Like, other kids would be mean to them. It was just them, you know? Yeah. The, uh, yeah. The whole family coming, they didn't know anybody else here. Wow. Yeah, so. probably. Yeah, really yeah but everybody has a different story. Yeah, you know? right. yeah everybody has a different story. Yeah. I got to ask a little controversial question. Oh Do you consider yourself Italian or Sicilian? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask. You're Sicilian? I feel like every Sicilian guest gets that question. I consider myself Italian, Sicilian. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that does not answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I feel with Sicilians, I don't mean to, you know. Some people you know, say, I'm Sicilian, I'm yeah. not Italian. No, I feel like yeah. Sicilians, we'll when you that. say, oh, you're Italian, they're like, no, I'm Sicilian. They, and you say, oh, you're Sicilian, no, I'm Italian. No, I don't never say that. It's, because, it's a conflict. Yeah. <laughs> no, I never said that. I, if people say you're Italian, they say I'm Italian from Sicily. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't say, oh, I'm no, I'm Sicilian, because it's not true. I'm going to have someone ask you and confirm that. Though. Well, Sicily, because Sicily, <laughs> probably because they remember Sicily was its own country at one time mm -hmm. for many, many years, and then it, it was joined Italy years later. When, when was that? Cause I, don't, hey. I don't remember my Kingdom history of, of anymore. Two yeah. Yeah, but, um, Kingdom of two Sicilies. Yes, but it was, um, it was its own country for a long time. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So probably that's why the people say that. And they were heavily discriminated against. When yes. Yeah. Heavily yeah. discriminated. So there's like yes. this identification of like, I'm Sicilian. And yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. Sicily got conquered by different countries. Yeah. Different so. countries. Exactly, yes. Yeah. But that's why the dialect is so, um, so strong. Yes. yes. So what well, dialect has, um, 
a little bit of the Greek language, yeah. a little bit of the that. It's got a lot of Mediterranean. Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, yeah, 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 Middle Eastern. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the ocean's there, so <laughs> boat, <laughs> boat, boats land and things happen. Well, you know? Africa, <laughs> but Africa, <laughs> Africa is right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's across it's the, yeah, it's the water. Yeah. yeah. Africa, it's very, there. very close. It's yes. very close. You know what I always wondered? Why Calabria and Sicily don't have a bridge going to each other? Because it's not that far, right? No. no. They have it's a boat, right? No, it's a boat drive. Like how, a, um, it's I got a, they call it a trajecto, but it's uh, the uh, ferry. They have the yeah. ferry. It's a few hours, I think, right? I don't remember exactly. I used to take that when I was little. You think you think it's physically not possible to connect the two? Or I don't think is it's, it just Italians I know, can't some, do it. No, no, I think it's not possible. It's too too far of a distance. No, right? it's not. I think it has to do, do with um, the, the earthquakes and stuff like that. Oh. That goes that always this. Yeah, I'm sure around. the Italians found some excuse not to build a bridge. You know, no, <laughs> they want. The it could be a legit reason, but I, I don't. Know. I really it. don't know. I still Even if they did, it would take about hundred years do to do it. I don't know why, because my husband probably knows, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No worries, not a history lesson. No, <laughs> a history. I'm all for the history and cookies today. Yeah. <laughs> the history of Sicily. What's next for Pina and, and Rose Kitchen? Oh, man. Where do you see this going She's in five producer. years? Yeah. Um, She's my producer. She producer, tells me mastermind. Producer. Yeah. She tells me what to do. Yes. Did you ever think your daughter would be telling you what to do? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, like, Maybe. Eventually, eventually. Like, Ma, come on. Yeah. Yeah. She's a good daughter, though. No, she is. She's a good daughter. She's one of the best. Do you like doing, like, these videos? I do enjoy doing the videos. But? But sometimes... <laughs> 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 sometimes it feels like a job? Sometimes it feels like a job. Yeah, she's got to come up with a new recipe. It is, it, is, it is a job. It is a job. Yes, though. because sometimes I have to really think... Like, oh, do me over what did my mother used to do? <laughs> it, because things that sometimes I don't make yeah. anymore. It's like, yeah. you know, and then you have to go back and just, you know, think about it and, you know. Yeah. Ro, what do you feel is next for you guys? I feel like we're probably going to venture into YouTube. People are asking for longer form content. Mm -hmm. um, they want to see, like, the whole process. Definitely think you should yeah. do that. Maybe a travel show. Travel that show. Would be, she that wants would to be do a that. dream. If we could travel around Italy and, and, Amazing. and cook and go around. All over history, Sicily. All over Sicily. Oh, that would be great. That all would right? be beautiful. And then aren't you working on your own project aside from... Yes, yes. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm a filmmaker by trait. So that was kind of like why I started filming my mom and editing the videos. But I'm working on my own documentary series called Intrusively. Which is about it's a mental health documentary about obsessive compulsive disorder, which is something that I've had for a long time, and I'm in recovery for, and it's something that's very very stigmatized. Um, people think that it's about being organized and being neat and being um, and a personality trait. People are like, yeah, I'm so OCD. I got to put my yeah. sneakers. The I right think we way. All, we've all said that. We've before. all said yeah. it. I, I think when I didn't know what I had because of the stigma, yeah. I, was, I said it. I yeah. didn't know what was going on. You actually told me about it because you've told me this <laughs> yeah. when yeah. I've met you other times or so. Yeah. And like I know now because you've told me. Yeah, yeah. The last time you were here, like yeah. the, you know, when the first time. Would you say the you know cooking show with your mother has like inspired you to pursue that lane? Uh, that was before, actually. Or is that, that was your, before your true passion? That was no, my, I know, but. Yeah. It, did that motivate you to like actually get it rolling, or was that always a goal that you had? No, that was she start. She started it before. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I started. Like, yeah. I've always wanted to be a filmmaker since I was thirteen. That I was think maybe that thing. that inspired that, you to that, do with your mom. Well, yeah. well, actually, you know what's really crazy about this whole thing is one, I manifested myself on this couch with you guys, which is really <laughs> funny <laughs> because I write <laughs> short films, and there's a short film that I'm writing about my nonna, about mm -hmm. nonnas. It's like about Italian nonnas, because mm -hmm. I think that's a really special thing. And I was like, okay, I'm going to write a short film, and maybe Growing Up Italian will interview me, because like, I'll put the short film out. It's about being Italian. <laughs> we all love our nonnas, right? Yeah. And so I was like, I'll go, I'll go on, the, on the podcast. They'll ask me. Of and course. then I do this cooking show with my mom, and I'm like back here, and I'm like, oh, that is so weird. Oh, it's like before whole, anything. Before yeah, anything, when you guys first great. started. And it's so fun. it was like years ago. That's but I feel like I know you a couple happen. of years though. No? Yeah, yeah. Like but like, but like when you guys first started the podcast, I was like, "Oh, this is a cool podcast. I want to be on it." Yeah, she would tell me about your podcast. Yeah. She would tell me about now, it. Now, now Peter's got to start listening 
So it's yes. all yes. The first one I listened to is the lasagna one. Okay. I think that would be a good one. I guarantee you okay. she'll listen to this one. Yeah, I guarantee okay. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she saw this one. She's going to be in a Christmas jammies, opening the presents, listening to the podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Last thing, maybe, before we go. Um, being this is a Christmas episode, I have to ask. Do you do anything um, on Christmas Eve about the Malocchio? No. No? We're not superstitious. No, You're not? not superstitious, no. We're very rare. I My know. mother was not superstitious. We didn't, didn't grow up like that. Okay, I think that's the best thing. No. Not, not us. Yeah. <laughs> because I see what I'm feeling this. I'm like, ah, Jesus. We don't, have, <laughs> we don't have the horn or anything like that. The only thing my mother used to put on me and my brother when we were little, it was a little red, uh, um, like a Bracelet? pocket. She oh, would make yes, it with, yes, yes. and she would put the saints in there. Oh, okay. She's very religious. So very religious. religious. Her, it was but like nothing else. Very religious. See, like and my family, let's say, um, Lo Pig was like Sirocco. Yo, you look you look good, bro. Like your sneakers are cool. That's right. My someone for me, like, oh yeah, put the, put the, put the, put the, <laughs> got them a look. Yes, yeah, and, <laughs> and actually, there's there are family members in my family that they believe in that, but only a few. But my mother never did. She never did, and I never. I don't believe in that. Right. Yeah. I really don't. I don't think anyone on this earth has the power. To do that, to wish you bad, because only God, Boris. nobody's now, more now powerful than deep. God. <laughs> nobody's more powerful truthfully, than God. Yeah. Truthfully, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah like, but in front of my family, I'll never say that. I understand, but because <laughs> he wants to be able to eat. You know? But tell me something. Do you think another person is so powerful like God that can do that to you? I I kind of feel like that. But I'm not going to lie, at the same time, sometimes I get a headache and I'm like, the take, this, take this thing off me. So What's I don't the, believe it. How do you no. get rid of Malocchio? I mean, I, can't, uh, I don't know if I... Can. There's, there's like a, a prayer. There's a prayer that's learned on Christmas Eve at yeah. midnight. Before midnight. Actually, believe it or not, my sister will believe in that. She's, yeah. Christmas yeah. Eve is a day like you could write it down or like say it out loud. Somebody, has to, somebody has to teach, teach you. You. Oh, okay. you have like a certain amount of time it's, to remember. Yeah, it's it. probably a tradition that for many, it's many years they have yeah. done that. Yeah. 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 I will tell you one thing. If I respect everybody's tradition. Yeah. I don't make everybody, fun of anybody. Listen. If we learn I respect anything, everybody tradition, but I just don't believe it. That's all. If we learn anything about Italians, everybody has their, their own. own opinion. Yes. Yep. Everybody says that's not Italian. Oh yeah. Because it's not what they grew up with. Right. Right. But meanwhile, let's not forget how many people live in the country and left the country. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. who are you to say what's Italian and what's not? What generation they left? Yeah. Right. You know, yes. you know, like it all yes. changed. Right. Yes. Even things we were saying change. before the music now, you know, yeah, it's things all change. Yes. Even recipe change in Sicily. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If you go to Sicily, you don't find the same old recipes that my mother yeah, they make used to new cook. stuff probably too. There's still people that make those recipes, but people, new generation make different things. Right. We were just with uh, our, an artist from Bologna in Miami and he was looking for somewhere he could buy a cheeseburger made on a donut. What? Like, you know how like a donut. You know, typical Bolognese. Yeah, you know, <laughs> no, you know, you know, like I, I mean, come on, you guys are on TikTok. You see, like a lot of stunt food. Oh, so oh, you know what I mean? Like so, like, you know how people like do Krispy yeah, Kreme donuts with a cheeseburger? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like asking me, like, where can I get that? I'm like, bro, I'm, I know I'm a big guy, but I, you think I eat that? Like, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> so that's that was what uh. You know, just to show you modern generation now yeah, yeah, with yeah. social media, like everybody. Everything's like different. viral. And yes. Like, yeah. yeah, it's different. There's yeah. one thing that I just realized we didn't mention is this truthfully. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. actually, God. that's how we're going to end this. Actually, we you're right, that, that and one more. Um, we forgot. So we hang one in. more. I, I did this on purpose because I wanted to end it with the truthfully because once I eat one of these, the honey's on my hand for the, yeah. like three days. So it's the perfect uh, so. ending. But Sicilians cut Start with the ladies. You have Start with the ladies. No, you have to cut it with the knife in pieces. Oh. <laughs> no, we could just pick them, no? No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not, it's not, That's what we used to use. It's not work. womanly. Well, my Maybe ma- put a couple on, on penis. <laughs> put it on the penis. I, when I do them, like my daughter was telling me before, we, we try to do, you know, the, those cupcakes uh, things. Oh, yes, yes, We yes. do s- individual so right. people can just grab a grab one like that. and yeah. you don't touch not, anything else. It's not else. as messy. Yeah, yeah it's not but as you messy. Put, you pick it apart though? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you pick it apart you don't, but you don't it's your like finger. No, go and you don't go. No, no, no. I mean, some, I mean sometimes. <laughs> some <laughs> people do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now nah, I feel like a jerk. Before, <laughs> before we, we try to the struffle, I just oh wanted my to God. plug this in. What is going on here? So, the great thing about our friends at Chirkos is you get something like this shipped to you at your door. Wow. Right? 
Now, this one's three pounds. Let me check the price because I don't want to say the wrong price. But he offers a three pound and a two pound. Now, people that used to live in New York and don't live anymore, like Alabama, let's say, <laughs> and they want to try these cookies, this right here is $78, a three pound cookie tray. Mm-hmm. And then a two pound is only is only fifty two dollars. Okay. And this package is truthfully we're about to use twenty two. Wow. So that's a great thing is that you get authentic pastries delivered right, nice and right fresh. to your door. Wow. Yeah, that thing is. If really you don't fun. have a nona pina in your kitchen, right. you know what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> Not everyone. We got our great uh, videographer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Wait! Oh my god! Oh boy! They, he just reinvented. Is this what you meant? Well, yeah, my mother used yeah, to cut used to it like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah, used to go I've that. been eating strufly wrong this whole time. <laughs> yes, you cut it in pieces, and people just take oh, wow. a piece. This is okay. game changing. Yes, yes. So absolutely. You don't have to pick at it. You don't have to pick. Yeah. No sticky fingers. I've been doing oh, it my wrong. God. Oh well, hold on. Let me get the whole thing. <laughs> Yo, Sicilians know how to eat. No, come on. <laughs> it's good. All right. This is very good. Sicilians also call this pignolate. In my town, we call it pignolate. Well, at least in our town, yeah. Pignolate? Before anything, what do you call these? Pignolate. If you're not saying it in Italian. No, Siciliano. Pignolate. Okay, well, if it's not Siciliano, what are you saying? We don't that know. I don't know. No? Struffoli? You know where? Struffoli, I think, comes yeah. from the, I think Struffoli, I, I could be wrong, I guess, comes from the Naples, the Campania, the Naples. Oh, is it? I think. Okay. Rocco's trying to insinuate their honey balls. Oh, yeah. the Americans well, he, in America, they balls? call them honey balls. No, no, no that's so cringy. I guess. We're so, yeah, I we're so creative, Americans. <laughs> honey balls. Let me balls. tell you. Yeah, honey balls. Hey, cuz, you got some honey balls? And they'll tell you if you don't say it like that. You're not a <laughs> Like if I'm yeah, going to a bakery, good. and they, the bakery might call it honey balls, but that's because they're just trying to right, market right, right. to a bigger crowd. Right. Yeah, this and, is very good. And I go to the work and I say, "Can I get strufuli?" And they say, "I don't know what that is." Then that's a red flag. I know Chircos would never do that. No, Chircos would no, not. No, Chirco would know if you okay. call it pinolate or strufuli. That you will, you will yeah, know. Yeah, they'll know. Now, for a lot of people, this is the star of the show. Mm-hmm. I do like these a lot. Very good. So this mm-hmm. was always my favorite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The dough they use. Makes it good. Sometimes I eat them, and you could tell somebody made them like a long time ago, and they're, they're like hard. stale. Hard. Oh, stale, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these have a consistency, like mm-hmm. like a biscuit, like yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, biscuit, huh? <laughs> the only problem is I can't, I can't. My hands are gonna stick to this mic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On this note, everyone enjoy your your holidays. Merry Christmas, Bon Natal, bon Natal. Bon Happy Natal. New Year's, bon every day. Thank, thank you, you ladies, for coming. Yeah, thank you for thank having me. Make sure to check me. them out on social media. We'll put it in the description. They have a bunch of recipes. You could literally eat for a whole month with what they got on there. So <laughs> enjoy.